green screen tip number five of five. We made it to the end of the list. And the last one is to make sure that you've got good lighting on your subject as well. We've dealt with everything to do with the background, the camera position, the green screen itself, the lighting of the, the, sub, uh, the background and making sure your lighting's in keeping with the background. But now we need to make sure that you've got good lighting on your subject, uh, at least as good as you can get. And also one thing to try is to have some sort of lighting slightly behind the subject that is uh, giving some separation. So having something like a, a hair light up in the top corner coming down to give that separation i actually have a light down that's lighting my uh, green screen from below and then the light from that bounces up off the top and then comes back down onto the back of my head and my shoulders to give me that little bit little bit of a separation and it really does make a difference so those are the five top tips that you will have seen in these videos and i hope you found them useful and if you have obviously don't forget to go and like them <laughs> we can't have a video without a like can we i look forward to seeing you again soon